the current uh, preclinical models not being great uh, to recapitulate disease um, and, and in particular to recapitulate how drugs interact with their targets in these models. And I, I think that, um, as I was saying earlier, and this is, a, I think, to me, a very important point, um, that there is a point where you can, if you have a very well detailed and, and well understood molecular uh, model of how a molecule is interacting with the tumor and causing the biological response that you expect, and you happen to be working with a compound that has already undergone extensive clinical testing and safety data is available, that there's little reason to, you know, to take those drugs, even without, you know, animal testing. And, you know, it seems like the FDA is now getting on board with that. Um, and, and move them into uh, phase one uh, trials. Uh, and, and I think that that um, would, would take us uh, a long way in, in understanding what works and what doesn't.